Hello once again everybody, this is Tobin Industrial doing a second video on my scanner that I have here. It is a uh, Uniden Bearcat BC796D. Um, as you may have uh, heard in my previous video, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, um, the digital frequencies that I'm receiving, um, I can program them and listen to them fine. But my problem being um, they're uh, alternating between two frequencies. And uh, I cannot, for the life of me, get the radio to squelch these frequencies. And if I do get it to squelch, it's not picking up the channels. Uh, so there is uh, some kind of carrier on the frequencies. There's two, actually. And uh, there's some sort of carrier on these frequencies. But anyway, what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to take this scanner now and I'm going to br bring it back to uh, clear memory. And by doing that, we uh, press hold, two, and nine at the same time while powering up. Now we'll do that now. Hold to nine and power up. And now you may see, hopefully, it says all memory clear, please wait. Okay, I've changed the angle slightly so that you may be able to see the screen. Right now you see it's basically, it's been white clear and it's just sitting and doing nothing right now. It's on channel 001. It's mentioning your priority channel, and the 10 banks are uh, all opened up and ready to go, but it says channel 001 is locked out. I'll now proceed to uh, put in the two frequencies in channel 1 and 2. My first frequency, from what I gather, will be the control frequency, which is 160-5900. Uh, and the secondary frequency that they alternate to is 161-2500. So I'll do that now. Okay, now you'll see that in uh, channel 1, which is priority channel, I have the control frequency locked in. And in channel 2, I have the other frequency. Now you'll notice that the other frequency, which they're not on at this time, is saying FMDAT whereas the frequency that they're transmitting on today says uh, FMLNK. Now, while still on the frequency that they are transmitting on, I will turn up the volume so you can hear that there's a carrier noise here. Now, the squelch, which is on the inside here, if I move this, sorry, in this area here, is off right now, but I'm going to turn the squelch so it should squelch the radio out but it does not. It's fully on and there's still a carrier. Hence my problem. And what I've done in the past is I have went into uh, the enter, say on this frequency alone, go to the enter and I would turn it on to DCS or CTCSS and then enter and it would say 67, 0 hertz, 9, whatever, and it just keeps going on and on just up to uh, different uh, numbers and if I put in any one of these numbers that's fine it will accept that however it'll scan away on the two frequencies if I do the two frequencies and I just do that CT CSS or the DCS but it's not picking up nothing it's just scanning something totally different so I have to go back and turn it off now I'll receive the frequency Now, uh, getting on with the, the scanner, I know that they are in a talk group and that there is only two frequencies, as far as I know and as far as the information that I can gather, there's only two frequencies that they operate on and uh, they seem to alternate at will. Uh, so that's another thing, I'm not exactly sure how they do it, if it's, work, if it's operated from the office itself, from the main building, or they can do it from their vehicle, I'd say they could probably do it both ways. But anyway, they are alternating, and it would be fine if I could monitor, but if I come in and it says FMDAT, I know I have to change the scanner, so I'm always looking to make sure that if I want to monitor these frequencies that I have to have it on the LNK. We'll run through uh, the scanner as uh, some of the functions here. Uh, the main menu here, I guess, would be the most important. It has a service option, um, a scan option which we'll run through quickly. 
just to give you a brief overview which is conventional and trunk obviously they are operating on trunk so uh, but uh, you can just I can do the trunk type done all this before and uh, bring it down to uh, VHF I believe and uh, that doesn't uh, help it help out back to uh, menu again and uh, go to system options and we press that and then there's dimmer of course screen mask key beep not a big deal enter lock PC control clone data skip squelch mode and uh, bank tags and the PC card when the PC card is working uh, squelch mode is, would be probably one of the things that we might be interested in here and I've tried these three things tone search uh, tone SQ and CSQ to no avail uh, no combination seems to work very frustrating and I continue uh, to try to work at it from time to time when I get some spare time and just not to get getting hit. Anyway, um, card is on. Let's see if there's anything else here. Data skip. Oh yeah, the clone. Of course, you hook up to a computer. I have two, I have two patch cords. One is a uh, USB to the nine pin, which the nine pin is on the scanner, and I also have a nine pin to nine pin, which goes into the COM port of a computer. And I've downloaded the programs. I've downloaded the the different things and I've tried that and that just doesn't seem to want to work. I tried with my laptop, same thing. It just doesn't seem to recognize it. It doesn't doesn't seem to want to download or upload or anything. Anyway, that is my situation. I certainly would like uh, for your input on this because I am stumped and I am going to continue to work at this. And uh, if you have any ideas, uh, please let me know. Thank you for watching and have a good day.